Welcome everyone um, to the next edition of Ask a CGN webinar. Today's topic is very interesting. It is uh, for postgraduate studies in India. Mr. D. Nedincherian uh, from um, the um, organization called uh, Technocrats India College Finder is here with us to share all the opportunities that we're all waiting to hear about. Uh, please mute your microphones if you're not speaking. My Please mute the microphones if you're not speaking. Kyam Sankar, please. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so Mr. Dean Nedicherian is, um, has a mechanical engineering degree from College of Engineering and uh, from the 1990 batch. He's here with us. Uh, thank you, Mr. Nedicherian, for uh, graciously um, providing us your time. I know it's been a very long day for you. Um, before we begin the um, talk, um, a few webinar logistics for uh, all participants. Please mute your audio and video if you're not speaking. Um, you can post your questions in the chat. Um, we will be recording this uh, webinar for uh, uh, sharing with CG students later. Um, and without further ado, I will um, pass this on to Mr. Nidangerian. So please feel free to share uh, your screen. So thank you very much for everyone and um, for this wonderful opportunity. So, and I will just start with a small intro about the history of what is uh, who we are and how basically then I'll get into the model which I recently uh, tried to explore for one institution in Tamil Nadu. It's a Kyagaraj Engineering College Madurai. We just prepared some, we call it as a beyond college, what one has to do and how we need to take it forward. So before that, I'll just give a brief intro who we are, what is our background. When Thiruvallur gave this model worldly knowledge in that education at that point of time, it was too good. We need to imagine 2000 years back, we have a strong education and uh, background. And similarly, we tell them this statement, we take it in a different level because our search is not wider and deeper. That's the reason we are not interested in diamonds. We are happy in the sense, unless we don't dig deeper and uh, we don't get diamonds, but uh, we are interested in only sand. So we are not searching deeper. That's the main thing. So we have a ancient measurement system in place and we have an engineering stripes like we have, a, we have a measurement system and we are the only civilization in the world. We divided it only into the opportunity. Hello. Um, please, non-speakers, please mute. Um, please go ahead, sir. My screen is visible, sir. I'm sharing the my screen. You can able to see that? Yes, we can see your screen. Okay. So, we tell the kids that uh, basically we, uh, we have an education inheritance. It was there for almost like more than 2,000 years back. And uh, we talk about the Chola dynasty. Cholas used almost like 65,000 elephants for boss. They have 20 lakh soldiers and uh, we tell them about the and uh, when the elephant goes for a war it will be more ferocious and it will be giving a lot of vibration for the villages and the villages used to think that it's uh, the ferocious and uh, the skills of that elephant will be completely unthinkable. So they use elephants for boss those days. Okay so and this is one uh, Tharam or Talabadi, what they have a elephant corps, cavalry, and they have medical corps. They were controlling from Sri Lanka to Sumatra. And uh, the Indian government to commemorate uh, King Rajendra Chora, they released a stamp in 2003. And we talk about the engineering tribes, Maulas and Kalani, which is more than 2000 years old. And it's not one of the oldest water regulatory structures still in use. And uh, basically they were doing irrigation for 12.50 lakhs acres. And, uh, we need to think about those days, how they thought, and uh, it's no hard rock foundation, still it's marvelous. And Kaveri has seen enormous floods, but still unable to sustain. And uh, I mean, now, nowadays we are talking about everything about the uh, linkages of rivers, but we could not be able to succeed, but they have demonstrated 2000 years back how it can be done. Okay, so this one, first of all, Sri Dharampal, he spent almost like 10 years in London archives. Why British came to India? Before that, what are the uh, treasures what we have in this country. So there is a one documentation for the big temple. Big temple used to get a revenue of uh, almost like one Bagoda or one Varahans equal to 1.2 gram gold coin. Those days and um, 
Sri Dharampal Ji has very well documented in the book called The Beautiful Tree about uh, ancient uh, science and technology in Tamil all over the India. Thousand seven temples used to give every month forty three thousand pagodas to, and a big temple. That's the reason it's called big temple, and it has been very well documented by eighteen thirteen by John Wallace, collector of Tanjore. So we have a trade, and we have evidences for musical instruments, and we have evidences for a lot of our construction marvels, and which basically no engineering colleges, no modern construction equipments, and. Nowadays we have become a very selfish. We go and apply for the only God that we work. We have become a devotee. We are not appreciating the entire. Our education system is not allowing us or anybody to appreciate all these marvelous pieces. So the education had passed, and what we believe is that thousands of brilliant minds they came together, shared the domain knowledge, and executed with utmost precision within the stipulated period. They demonstrated unbelievable teamwork and passion and dedication without any monitoring. Expectation and they left the engineering footprints for future generation to own them. So this is about the past. So we have our in our genes. The education comes natural for us. So our forefathers had a quality education. So they gave a sustainable environment for us. Unfortunately, we are we are giving the environment same similar academic environment for the future generation. We need to think about it. There's an Einstein statement, and that's very true. This generation kids have been brought up through the gadgets. Once they they don't have the A compassion, love, affinity—everything is lacking for this generation kids. But this generation is the world of they are, they are the luckiest generation in the world because the India's median age is 28.1, and almost if you take other countries, they are we are far below the other international average. So, and we have a zero to 14 years population, 35 crores, and Israel is demonstrating a very good model, and China we have 24 crores, and um, basically for this population, and uh, there are few countries in the world. And uh, they were giving their investment on GDP spending is almost like four point five percent. And those countries who invested on human capital, they found the results and they they have succeeded in every stream. So they produce a Israel Jewish population is point two percent, so close to a community like uh, what we have it in Tamil Nadu. But they have, they can able to give brought almost like twenty two point four percent Nobel laureates out of this nine or two till now. So the SNT populations and Israel is topping on the list, and US and Japan, everything is coming beneath of it. And you name anything from MRI scanner to and your nanotechnology to even drip irrigation, they are basically topping the list. Actually, we are entering into fourth industrial revolution. First, we had a steam. Second, we moved to electricity, computing, intelligence. Now, as per the World Economic Forum, the fourth industrial revolution, and um, they they give a very good map on this. That is a Uh, how the entire fourth industrial revolution is going to take place so this is a very interesting uh, chart to just look into that so here they say that the disruption of jobs and demanding new skills will be the day of the order so this not in the earlier generation what we had so due to covid or basically the workforce and employment and global health and how this entire thing is going to so the willingness to learn will be the day of the order for new learning is it's a mandatory for anyone to just sustain in the world so Here we tell them about there is a global challenges. We have a population and uh, we have a number of hungry people. COVID is increasing the internet usage, but lack of access to medical facility. We can call it as a ninety percent because even the developed countries also they are facing a lot of problems. So we need the manpower from every stream to address these particular solutions. So those days the people use elephants for wars. Now we use elephant, the same elephant, to just going through the procession and blessing us in the from the gate. So even elephant will never knew that he doesn't have talent for just going and fighting in the war. So we have just ch completely changed the elephant. That's how that's how the complete society has been transformed because due to the various transformations and everything. But always the elephant can be trained to go to that level like that. The students have an innate talent which is not known to them, and they need to always think from this particular angle. So this is about Dr. Amartya Sen said in theory that is we need to have an equitable society. Otherwise, a clicking a time bomb because the the children who have a partial education if they don't get a proper placement their mind will be working on a destructive purpose than the constructive purpose so this is what uh, we need to save the students save their save the future generation now i'll just get into the main presentation this is what i intend to give and uh, mainly this is model we just call it as in a beyond college because we don't do only career guidance as a process when we thought we'll pitch to the various institutions to the children the next level And uh, here, I just all the way. I did my schooling in Madurai. Came to Gindi. The my Gindi is a complete transformation. And all my uh, the journey, I just took it. 2003, we published a booklet. Four, five, six. We incurred huge loss in the first year. 
and slowly we transformed to various things and uh, and we started adding up our services as and when the pa parents and students will come and ask about various opportunities so there are few indians who help me in uh, this anna all my batchmates and some of my juniors uh, baskar and uh, aiman this is uh, my juniors and 91 batch and they're all that when i went to this time without indians help i would not have achieved all this level. i cannot uh, basically i need to work for all these people who from our venture is a purely a social entrepreneurship what we believe every parent whether it's an urban rich or rural poor they would like to give a quality education for the children the education aspiration of the children should not be cheated that's the main idea of what we are doing this one so i did my uh, basically we work with various committees and everything i'll just skip all the things and i'll uh, straight away come to and uh, we believe that every pack family is putting a lot of effort and their education aspiration of the child should not be wasted or it should not go into the family should not think that i have not given enough for my kid that that sort of a thing should not happen for the any family that is our idea of paying this entire organization normally the people think that the purpose of education when they come to college is mainly for employment or we need to take a course which is having a very good scope or we need to go by the interest we tell them all the three factors are completely wrong because the purpose of education is not for employment okay even if you take a vertical professions like medical legal they have to get trained and they need to prove themselves then only they can come in the top order again the quality of institution matters a lot so the employment means that people think about placement we as a kids whether the placement is important no the play, beyond the placement the package is very very important but we don't look at the package because we are sending kids to delhi technology university did you they start with the salary of at least 15 lakhs to 20 lakhs and somebody from india or nit they are starting with 5 to 8 lakhs to reach this 20 lakhs minimum it take another some tenures these kids have to really toil and they have to go and prove themselves second whether we can go by the scope and scope is something illusion or imaginary world we don't believe in scope also because we when we were in schooling we never expected all this technological advancement will happen we never thought about it even if it is due to covid we have been in lockdown for so many months and we are struggling and this is scope is something illusion or imaginary world third we don't Yeah, and tell them that please never go by interest because if my interest is only third race and pickle, if I send them to five star hotel, they they are not going to pick up only that interest thing and walk away from that particular hall. They will be looking into other options. We want them to look at the every options, even in schooling or in college or all, all other options. Because if there are only ten options given to them, our interest will be on that particular two, whatever we feel. But if there are three hundred options, my interest will change. So interest is again, it is not a constant. So. the purpose of education is to infuse confidence in young minds to face any future challenges anywhere in the world at any point of time so we take them as some two three examples and obviously one is mr pichai so when he studied google never existed and uh, there are three important takeaway from his lessons one is going to the premier institution whatever you do you go to the premier institution second willingness to learn anything at any point of time if you refuse to learn anything beyond metallurgy then you not land up in google third staying at present that is very important and uh, he was very focused in the every level so we tell them all the three important characters and similarly mr dr raghuram rajan is an electrical engineer from iit delhi mba from iim ahmedabad and mit stone school of management and become a governor of bombay so once if you have an attained of educational confidence you can able to say the word even when he was in a, during demonetization demonetization he was saying that and uh, opposing the government and uh, putting his new points in very straight forward because he was pretty confident even if i lose the job anywhere in the world i'll get the same or much better than that particular job that is the confidence will gain from the quality education institution or whatever the education the process you went through that will help you to reach different heights so now the current scenario and what we believe there is an information explosion unless we don't get the right information at right time that will be a dead information that's what is happening for the kids they they don't know the complete basket of opportunities before taking any particular decisions so thank, thank you so much, so much uh, mr nidanjari and this was a, a wonderful um a source of excellent information we have uh, uh, many many questions coming in um uh, i think uh, although we are uh, um uh, at the um the end time i want to ask would you have maybe 10 10 to 15 minutes to answer oh, some of the questions for me it is not a problem even if it's another whatever i'm okay with okay okay thank you thank um, you so much for this opportunity yeah wonderful thank you so uh, many of the do you see some of those questions on the chat yeah, the sorry for okay. something 
no no worries i can um, i can um, uh, echo some of those yeah. one of the the first one of the questions was um, that uh, a student swati uh, yeah. says she wants to study in iit or nit for pg mm-hmm. and um, can you elaborate about the exams yeah. and syllabus we cover and so on right brain learning is available okay and many of us we never knew it's available in iit karakpur okay this is civil engineering you can get into right brain engineering civil and uh, mechanical can do that and electrical also can do that there is a separate course through gate school you need to apply separately do not appear in anywhere and there is an another course an iit madras we have a pg diploma in uh, metro rail management m tech in metro rail management offered in iit madras Okay, this also through gate only. So instead of metro rail transport, along with IIT Madras, they offer this, and there is a separate offerings available. And you can see there is a CSTAP. The ISRO has a lot of courses for your um, metrology and geoinformatics and a lot of areas. So there also you can just try. There is a new institution called NRT, but it's very expensive. I don't recommend. See, in post graduation level, I don't want anybody to spend any money. You can do a free course at free of cost. Okay, for that, but you need to connect yourself to establish. This is a This year we got a lot of students joining in after graduation. Ministry of Railways has established this institution. So post graduation they have a lot of programs for civil engineering, the transportation management, supply chain management, and MSc Transport Economics and MSc. In, it's along with the degree from University of Birmingham, UK. They are offering a degree, but this is all a little bit expensive. But there is an another area if you want to join in Irimi. There is an institution called Indian Railways Institute for Mechanical and Electrical Engineering pertaining to railways. So this is located in Jamalpur, Bihar. But earlier they used to offer a course in undergraduate level. Now they cancelled. Now everything is transferred to NRTA. But there is a metro rail management. There is a airport infrastructure management in IITs. We can do variety of courses. But in addition to that, there is a CSSTP. There is an institution coming under ISR on the back, and um, they do offer a lot of courses. So this is one second. I'll just take. Thank you. So go and um, have a look at it. Yeah, sure, sir. Nandini, um, who's studying in finally a printing, um, uh, asks about opportunities um, in postgraduate education. Center for flexible printing. It is available in flexible electronics in IIT Kanpur. Okay, this is a national center, and there is an exclusive printing arrangement is there. So they are giving focus on printing in electronics. It is a completely different domain. See, one of our junior B printing was uh, he was handling earlier with uh, bigger than online CEO. And uh, I think his name is Mr. Nala Tambi. Is now is in different business, but uh, there is a flexible electronics. You can do it in printing technology applied in electronics. It's a completely new area. Nobody can think about it. So like that, its facilities are available, but only thing you have to go and attend their events, and you can go to careers. They will recruit you. But for that, you need you need to take a course and connect it from edX and Coursera, and go and contact them or find out which is the best university is offering the course. See, even civil engineering, as people underestimate the civil engineering. I'll tell you about. Um, Uh, do you do you think any connection between civil engineering and aerospace? Okay, there is a I will put images in Google dot com. There is a see all your launch pad. No, that is, yes, space launch pad. Okay, satellite launch pad. If you look into that, and the entire launch pad design is done by civil engineer. Okay, the entire structures is designed by civil engineer. Even the uh, foundation, all the smoke and everything, it will be designed by civil engineer. Even civil engineers can go to aerospace also. See. Everywhere there is an opportunity. People say mining no opportunity, but if you are looking at software studying mining, if you want to get into naively lignite cooperation, you are wrong. If you want to take a sand from moon or Mars, there is also mining. Please look different heights, and there are plenty of opportunities. And you you need to change your perspective of looking into the uh, various opportunities in your home branch. That is my humble request. Thank you. Ram wants to know um, what are the best areas for computer science and engineering. And what are some good institutions other than IITs? Well, there is an institution. We have a lot of our students who are studying in Chennai, Bangalore, and uh, so you can go and join your PG, and uh, through gate you can get into this. It's a fantastic institution. And uh, looking into the and the governing body, Mr. Uh, basically, Mr. Professor Sada Gopal is a Ginty gold medalist and Purdue gold medalist, and Mr. Krish Gopal Krishna has donated two twenty five crores to IIC Bangalore exclusively for brain research. He is the chairman of the institutions. and they have excellent faculty available for this particular institution you look at the faculty array of faculty and ug is intake is only integrated mtech is almost like 60 students and hardly not beyond 120 students you know stuff broadening and, and i am bangalore iit can provide to bombay these are the faculty students and you know stuff massachusetts and you know stuff howdelberg and you know stuff ward up iit karapur iit kanpur i am bangalore 
and University of California, Berkeley. You name every best university, we have a faculty. Okay, this is a good collection of faculties. And when you go to a good institution like this, because paying the salary and all this is taken care by the very good public-private partnership, Intel, and they are um, and um, Microsoft, not uh, Intel, Infosys, and uh, HP. All the three they are taking care of the entire investment of this faculty. So they are offering a very good uh, uh, course in the master's level beyond IIT. This AAIT Bangalore is too. It's located just in the toll gate, just in the electronic city toll gate when you're just crossing from Chennai to Bangalore. Thank you. Um, and there are plenty of other courses. We have a students who are doing a project with your human computer interaction at Stanford University from even in the lockdown. From, we put a lot of kids to theoretical computer science. They can study in even IMSC, and uh, we have students studying in PhD tech in five years integrated program. They are doing all these projects. So there are plenty of opportunities. I, I don't think there is uh, opportunities are there, but only thing we don't look into all these things. Yeah, please. Thank you. Safia is asking if, uh, as a second year student, what should I do to prepare for CAT? CAT, please, you contact these guys. This is uh, uh, 2 imcom This is my one of our junior only. And uh, he's one year junior to me. And most of the 91 batch, which they knew these people very well. You might have heard about the person called Sharath. And um, Sharath is basically, his mother is a weekly vendor. He's running a food king catters. And there are two guys. Is, uh, Rajesh is from IIT Madras and I am Bangalore. He appeared for CAT four times. He got 100 percent right. CAT is one of the toughest examinations in the country, even he appears every now and then. So the people behind this is basically only three people. This is a team. Sorry. The Bhaskar is a CEG 1991. He's an MBA from IIM Calcutta. Now he's just shown you that Pons video about uh, this one. So Bhaskar is from Gindi and uh, 91 batch. And uh, I'm 90 batch. He's also from Madurai. So he's an MBA from IIM Calcutta. He was directly reporting to Mr. Uday Kota. Now he takes care of the entire ascent education to IM, all this management level we source them to them. Because after plus two, we send a lot of kids to IM Indoor. IM Indoor is uh, after plus two, they can do direct MBA. Okay, there are plenty of opportunities. You can contact, I can connect you to Bhaskar. You can say that you are from Gindi, he will help you. Any help, you can get in touch with me. We do support a lot of poor children to join in Gindi, CAT from Gindi to, so we have a scholarship for that. I can put over to Bhaskar. If it is a real, genuine and underprivileged. We have see ours is a clearly a Robin Hood model. We collect money from affordable family. We help the poor children. That is a model we adopt. And we have a lot of uh, children. We have support plenty of kids. And uh, this is a visually challenged boy from government Pundamali Blind School. We put them into uh, from government school. We put him into Newells in coaching after clearing CLAT. And uh, he got University of Netherlands for disability law. He had been felicitated by Dr. Abdul Kalam just He got. Uh, then he quit the job and he could not be able to go to the Netherlands. He doesn't have money. So we put him into Indian Law Institute in Supreme Court. After that, he was working in Newells in coaching. Now currently doing a PhD in Newells in coaching. This is 100% visually challenged. And uh, I got him into, uh, he got NLU Delhi. But now he's currently working in Coal India. 724 Tamil medium to English medium in Newells in coaching. And uh, see, we got a lot of inspiration. We learned a lot from these kids. And uh, every uh, constraint, they look into opportunities. They never sink into the problem. They always look out for the solution. It's very, really inspirational. And the faculty was very extremely happy. He's now it's a... Uh, Working as a um, assistant manager legal in Coal India, earning more than a lakh rupee. Okay, and uh, he was only 724 marks. I don't underestimate based on the marks. Talent is everywhere. Okay, so this guy from Dindivanam, we put him in um, this. Uh, he's one of our Dindi alumni son. So Dindivanam to IIT Bombay. He got fourth rank in the NID, fifth rank in IIT Bombay. After plus two, he's currently doing in IIT Bombay. So the seed examination is also very good. You see this only for under the admission level. Even civil engineering students can look in for all the seed examinations. See, there are so many entrance examinations. There is an examination called COGJET, it's conducted by IIT Kanpur. It's a cognitive neuroscience and separate entrance examination like GATE, and children have to appear. Now we have sent a girl from Maharashtra from, and uh, Cummings College from Pune, and she's joining this one. So, and uh, she's studying already IIT Kanpur and IIT Hyderabad, and uh, they can do it in uh, cognitive science and separate entrance examinations. And much more easier. They see, we need to identify where all the less competition we can easily get into this. Thank you. Um, yes. There are, in the interest of time, I'm going to combine a few questions in, into one. Um, some of those are uh, uh, generic to say, what are the different exams uh, an undergraduate student can apply or uh, prepare for? How do you prepare for GATE and, and so on? Um, 
uh, in, in the interest of time, I'll go for some specific ones. Um, uh, uh, Prasanna is asking if a gate score of third year, um, uh, third year uh, gate score is valid for getting admissions. Um, okay. Um, and uh, it's only that is a, you'll only in the final year can appear. The, the candidate who's currently in third or high years and high graduation program. But see, you'll not be completing the things. I, I strongly recommend taking it in the fourth year. Mm -hmm. um, material science, what is the better option? Um, masters in Germany versus IITs? No, I strongly recommend to go through IIT because you need not spend money. See, in all IITs, we have an international relations. If you take IIT Bombay or IIT Madras, everyone has a very good international relations. But I want to share, you see, there is a plenty of opportunities. The kids are underestimating metallurgy. Uh, so there is, I'll just say, uh, metal science, you look into the research opportunities from MIT. So this is a discipline under MIT research. And looking into the disciplines, if you look into that, there is a biomaterials and biomolecular materials. Bio is uh, physics and biotechnology, ceramics. And we have a computational material science, condensed matter physics, electrochemistry, electronic materials, storage of memory storage, energy storage materials. Recently, there is a material called P came from Stanford. That where you are storing the photovoltaic cells, the energy storage can be tripled. Three times it can be increased. Environment materials and the, even the material processing, I think fracture and fatigue materials, magnetic materials, magnetic metal culture, material chemistry, mechanical behavior of metals, medical metals, only removing your cancer materials, MEMS, microelectronics, metallurgy, nanotechnology. There are plenty of opportunities in metallurgy and metal science. Only thing you need to look into what is your area of interest and how to connect. We can able to do, uh, we can help you on how to go about it, but there are plenty of opportunities. Don't underestimate any branch. Every branch is important. Every discipline has a very good opportunities. So you can take medical sense, whatever I've shown you, you can just, but what I strongly recommend, you can go to, the, there is an international relations for the current students, the exchange opportunities. See, if you look into, uh, we have sent a lot of kids to only IIT because we, I don't recommend to go and join in US ministers straight away. Providing if their undergraduation is in a good university, that's fine. They can able to sustain Otherwise, most of the children are struggling there because they don't get a thing. So here they, they have a lot of partnership from various universities. Okay, you can go on to this university and you can do an exchange program for one semester exchange from IIT. Then it will be much more easier to jump to best institution in the world. See, the Erasmus and how many of them are applying, I don't know. There are plenty of things our students are not even participating. They never knew this information. And we need to create a center and we need to disseminate all this in information on a consistent basis, what is happening on every department, and uh, we need to create a center, then we need to establish those sort of information dissemination for the children. Absolutely. Um, somebody is asking if uh, stipends have stopped at uh, for MTech at IITs. No, see, there is a, a professors are accommodating in a different manner. They are giving a TA, Teaching Research Associates, and uh, they offer uh, other things through. REA, research associates, there are so many things professors are creating a value. See, IIT Bombay and IIT Kanpur as alumni campus conduct 600 crores. For you, there is, don't worry about the money. There is a second factor. First, try to get admissions, then everything will follow. See, always the problem with us is we, before just putting the first step, we always think about the 10th step. Am I correct? Students? <laughs> so please go step by step. It's always it's possible. Money is the automatically will follow. Don't worry about the stipend part. You follow your dreams and everything will follow. Um, there are questions about uh, specific branches, computer science, bioengineering. Um, the computer uh, science, normally say I recommend this model. I'll just show you that one second. Just give me a second. If somebody is interested in cloud, okay? Cloud computing, you can just go and uh, one second. I think in this case, the question was more about gate preparation. Gate preparation, you have to take a course it's like Gates Levy. Okay, I'll, just, I'll tell you how to go about it. So go to Gates Levy. So reverse Levy, then go to the syllabus. Take what is your syllabi on that particular branch. The papers, if you take computer science and information technology, mostly Gimby syllabus will be following the Gates syllabus. But if you are from another private institution, your syllabus will not be covered. Only thing you want to take a digital logic, do a course in digital logics in edX and Coursera or Udacity. Or you do it from OCW or C or anywhere. But try to get certificates, compile and design everything. There is a course available in MOOCs, the massive open online course, either in NPDL. If you do it in NPDL, they'll be giving all the certificates in NPDL. Now it is called swim.goe.in. 
So here there is a they are given the gate preparation also. So the little bit information will be given. So here they are given the question papers. Like for example, if you are from computer science, what I'm strongly recommend, you take computer science one particular gate paper. Okay. And I think if you go to Gimpy, uh, your library reference sections has a complete gate papers from 19, uh, I think uh, from the starting, even 1980 to till date, the papers are available in reference sections of your library in Gimpy. So what you need to do, just take one particular topic. What I have shown you that the mining department, the same way you take the gate syllabus. For example, I'm doing a, a computer networks. Do only computer networks. Make it and type concept of layering, OSA, TC, VIP, whatever, one by one, and go and refer in all the 40 to 60, 50 years paper of only computer networks. Don't go and look at other, any other material. Then create document, everything, try to write it in a visiting card, put it in the back side, you write the answer. And uh, just before that, you do complete the uh, course in networks, in computing networks in Coursera, or edX, or whatever you need. And then after that, you can just look into only understanding the concept, then go and refer the questions of that particular topic. Like that, you have to complete one by one, then you can add it up to the level. But before that, you need to understand where, which chapter we are getting more courses, like what I shown you for mining, the similar way you have to do it. See, fortunately, mining, one of our juniors is there, Bala Maheshwan, he took our help. So I engaged some two, three students, I helped them to create this mining, gate mining preparation, because we find that the children are from Indies not making to gate, because the mining population across the country is very less. Even the our children are not making, then we are, lacking somewhere. So Bala was my junior from Gindi 1991 batch. So, and he was an ISM Danbad. So to help Bala, I venture into this. I helped the children to help them. We just created this model. But see, unfortunately, our children are going to outside to learn and outside you won't get the best faculty. The best faculties are available at free of cost or online. Am I correct? <laughs>